Good morning, good morning. Standing ovation before we're even finished. I love it. I'm just joking. Technology is changing the way we think, the way we work, the way we learn. And like all of you who have come on this journey, who have your smartphones out, it is time to hand it over. For the next 10 minutes, we're going to go through a little bit of a survival journey. I want you, this is going to be a bit nerve-wracking, I want you to take out your smartphone if you already haven't done so, face down, all you have to do is put it on the aisle on the left-hand side. Okay, you can sit down, you got to put your phone down to the left, and if you're on the aisle seat, just put it on the floor. I'm going to do the same, okay? Don't get paranoid. Most of your phones have a code. Some have facial, active, facial recognition. No one's going to steal it, I promise. What do you think about when you think about the word survival? Most of us think about shelter, a roof over our heads, maybe some trees and leaves if you're in a forest. Some of us default to water, food and water, right, to survive. And sometimes you need first aid. Think about when you travel. What do you need to survive? Makeup, deodorant, shaving cream. Right? These are things that you need to survive. It's 2019, everyone. And I actually think there's a new toolkit for survival. The first thing we need to survive, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Am I wrong? In my house at 6 p.m., everyone's eating dinner. We're all calm. The music's playing. The food's going. And as soon as the phones can't connect and Netflix pauses, my house goes to DEFCON 6 in a matter of 30 seconds. <laughs> Everyone's experienced that, right? Here's a little trick. You just have to reset the router. <laughs> right? What is even more important that we need to survive? Now, some of you, it's only been three minutes but some of you might be twitching, <laughs> right? There's actually a, a thing for this. You might feel this kind of vibration on your thigh, but your phone's not with you. But we're so addicted to survive, to communicate to our families, to get on social networking, to check our email, that we actually justify in our own head, I think, my, I think there's a vibration. What's the red icon? Who messaged me? It's called phantom vibration. You're going to experience it throughout this talk if you've given up your phone. Survival. This is my survival kit. Forget deodorant and makeup. iPhone chargers, headphones, multiple battery packs. I don't, know, I don't travel with four toothbrushes, but I have four cords for my iPhone. Tell me this isn't true. In your suitcases today, in your briefcases, in your bags, that is the new toolkit for survival. There is a theory and a foundation in human psychology. Some of you, actually all of you probably learned this in school, and if this is the first time you're seeing this, then walk through this journey. Because this is a decade, maybe decades old theory around Maslow's hierarchy of needs. What do we need as a society to survive? Well, there's physiology, like love, right? There's social, our friends, our family, right? Relationships, companionship. 
There's safety. What's our security? There's self-esteem and self-actualization. This theory that we've all seen in books and talks has been around for a long time. But I challenge that theory today because I actually think there's a new hierarchy of needs. And I call it the technology hierarchy of needs. What's the first thing we need to survive? What's the first thing we need? More than water. Power and Wi-Fi. You can't get Wi-Fi, by the way, without power. We all go through it, right? Our phone's at 1%. When the battery turns red, we start panicking. But think about it. If there was an emergency right now, what would we do? I don't think the museum has pay phones. Am I right? Basic need. PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Gmail, Outlook, the cloud. I can probably bet that most of you have checked your email more than once today. We need the platforms. We need the computational power. We need to work. We need to learn. Do we really think that our kids today and tomorrow are learning from chalkboards and textbooks? Or is it tablets? Think about social. How do we engage with our friends? How do we keep track of our families? How do we share? Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. Tweet, 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 as we heard this morning. I bet every single person in this room has used a combination of one or more of these apps many times today already. Do we really think people are meeting significant others in coffee shops and just by fluke? Let's be real, people. Tinder and Bumble, billion-dollar organizations. How do people meet in today's generation and today's society, irrespective of generation, irrespective of age? How do you meet someone today? Take a look at the platforms and apps and companies behind you. Billion-dollar companies, multi-billion-dollar companies. The technology hierarchy of needs. But what is even more compelling than all of these? What do we need to survive? What do we need for ourselves? WhatsApp and iMessage. <laughs> How else do you communicate? WhatsApp, iMessage, text message. If we didn't have that today, I don't think I know how to actually dial on my phone. If you asked me what is my wife's phone number, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> the technology hierarchy of needs. There are over a billion people on this planet that do not have access to technology. A billion with a B. I'm gonna do something a little different today. Can I ask this side of the audience to just stand up for me for a second? And can you turn and face this side of the audience and just give them a really big wave for five seconds? Okay, stop there and stay standing. Here's the thing. For this group of people, you are privileged and honored to have access to power and Wi-Fi and technology. And by the way, the folks over here that are waving or not waving, we can't see you. We cannot see you because you don't have access to technology. 
So as us as a society, how can we leave those folks behind? Are we going to delete them? Are they going to become obsolete? Because without access to technology and their social and digital identity, do they even exist? We can't see you. You can sit down now. Companies like Microsoft are empowering the entire planet to achieve more. Technology is revolutionizing societies. It's taking societies in impoverished areas and leapfrogging them into economic growth and sustainability. If we as a society do not do our part in getting these folks access to technology, then we have failed. We will delete them, and we will, we will make them obsolete. Unacceptable. Access to technology for everyone. Many of us share the same story, whether it's your grandparents, your parents, your great-grandparents. We all came to this country, and we needed to work. We needed to build families. We needed to learn. What do you think our parents, grandparents, or even if you're a new immigrant, what, did, what do you need to survive, to learn? English, to get a job, read and write, to build commerce and drive business. But in 2019, do you need English to order a taxi? Do you need English to rent someone's apartment in another country? Do you need English to read a restaurant menu? What do we need to survive? There's only one answer. Technology is the new English. My name is Adam Nanji. Thank you very much.